Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and today I'm going to show you how to add a 2.5 inch hard drive to your 2019 Nitro 5 gaming laptop. Let's have a look at my setup prior to this upgrade. I've already got two drives installed. Both are M.2 SSDs, and if you'd like to see how to install those, check out my other video in the info bubble above. So I have a 256GB SSD as my primary C drive, and a 1TB SSD as a secondary drive where I'm loading my games. The 2019 Nitro 5 also has a 2.5 inch drive SATA bay for a third drive, and that's what we'll be installing today. Your build may come with an HDD as its primary drive, and if you're looking to upgrade it, you can follow these steps too, but you'll have to install and reload the OS afterwards. To do this upgrade, you'll need a mini screwdriver and a pry tool, like a metal or plastic spudger, or pick. You can also use a grounding wrist strap if you're worried about damage from static electricity. On the bottom of the laptop are 11 screws that you'll need to remove. The 2019 Nitro 5 laptops don't have access panels for the memory and hard drive slots, so you'll need to remove the bottom panel of the case. The model number for this laptop is AN515-5454W2. Using a pry tool, unlatch the catches along the front of the laptop and up each side. Then unhook the catches along the back and lift the panel off. Let's turn this around so you can see better. The 2.5 inch drive bay is located in the front left hand corner. While you're in here, you may want to add or upgrade the M.2 drives, which are found here, or upgrade or add additional RAM found here. So check out my videos for those upgrades in the info bubble above. I'll be installing this Patriot Torch LE 120GB SATA 3 2.5 inch SSD, which fits in the bay here. You'll also need four 2.5 inch drive screws and the Acer HDD SATA ribbon cable, both which should have come with your 2019 Nitro 5, but if you need to buy those, I'll have links in the description below. First, we'll remove the drive bracket from the bay by removing the four black screws holding it down. Now place your 2.5 inch drive into the bracket, ensuring the side with the cable connectors lines up with the arrow and notch on the bracket. Use the four silver drive screws that came with the laptop to secure the drive to the bracket on the sides. Next, attach the SATA connector of the ribbon cable to the drive. Now we can place the drive in the bracket back into position. The ribbon cable should come pre-folded to line it up perfectly with the connector on the motherboard. There's even a strip of double-sided tape to keep it in place on top of the drive. Make sure when inserting the ribbon cable into the connector, it's seated all the way forward in the slot. Then fold down the white latch to secure it in place. Don't forget to replace the four black screws for the drive bracket. You can install either a 2.5 inch HDD or SSD with a SATA 3 interface up to 2 terabytes in this slot. Now we can replace the bottom cover by snapping in all the clips along all four sides. Then replace the 11 screws for the back panel. Now, let's power the laptop up and enter the BIOS settings to make sure the computer sees the new drive. And here we can see it's recognizing that there's a third drive installed called Patriot Torch LE. We can also see this in Windows Device Manager and Windows Explorer. Here it's called Drive D with the 120 gigabyte capacity. And as you can see, there's already files on it because I was using it as an external drive before. But if yours is brand new, you'll have to partition and format it first to make it usable. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I'll put a link for the tools and components used in this video in the description below. 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.